Dawn Bush download number 71 and uh, back into it for the new year. Happy New Year. I know it's the middle of January, but I'm going to keep saying Happy New Year to the end of January. Uh, I think of January. Michael and I did that last week. Did you? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. well thank, thank you, Dan. I, many different comebacks there, but this is family <laughs> friendly, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, going to be a shorter one today because I've got to run away in a sec, but... Um, What's going on at the moment, Dan? It's still not a happy little place at all. No, at the it's um, all concerns about China at the moment, Andrew, isn't it? Are they overdone the concerns? That's the big question, I think. Yeah, and I think people have got to remember that their economy is shifting from sort of this export focus yes. manufacturing to an internal consumption. And, you know, you look at Japan in the 60s and the 70s where they had that dual decade um, boom because they just had all that internal consumption. Yep. That will sort of continue to grow China, but whilst they're trying to sort of change that direction from export to consumption, that's where we've seen concerns around commodity prices and, and so forth. Yep. And you're right, it's reflecting in our markets. Uh, Brendan's got a, a good little chart that uh, April will put in the package here, which talks about uh, sort of just where the market's going. You want to talk a little bit about that? Well, it's, it's certainly come off. You know, one thing I've been talking to clients about for a while is the 200-day simple moving average. Um, Has to be simple for us to understand. And it really turned down in the GFC and we saw that and it's one to, and you know and then turned up when it was time to buy again in what 2009. Um, you know it's just got that looks about it now that it's starting to turn. Turn down. Turn down so you know that's really an indication to take some off the table. So in other words what you're saying is for clients who have made some good money along the way yep. it's probably time if, if you're not let me take it back a step. If you're just an it's income, it's an person, individual thing, isn't yeah. it, Andrew? And you're right. If you're an income person, well, you'll ride this out just as you did with the GFC and be quite happy about it. But if you're concerned about your capital, it's probably time you know. to take some money off the table. But I think it's probably well, certainly from my point of view, I don't think this is a GFC, GFC style event. No. You know, you've got RBS. Uh, a, a broking a firm who came out yesterday and said, sell everything, you know, and it makes great yeah, press. But you know, they're trying to sell their business too, aren't they? So, and, and I might add, these are the same rocket scientists that seven or eight years ago had to be bailed out by the UK government for tens of billions of pounds. Mm. So with all due respect to RBS, I'm sort of taking their advice with a grain of salt. But, you know, relating and, to... And then on the other hand too, Macquarie came out and said it's going to be a pretty good year this year. Mm. You know, maybe that's one to take with a grain oh, of salt as well. And so. UBS is probably in the middle where they're saying, look, Things are probably going to be a bit volatile, but you know, longer term we're still okay, and the China story is still okay. So, and China have got room to move, Andrew. You know, their cash rates at around 4.3 percent, and although inflation's low, they can certainly cut that cash rate to help stimulate yeah. things there. So, so what do you, uh, Dornbush Download viewer, need to do? We well, need to go and get advice because, of course, we don't give personal advice here. But generally speaking, you know, what we'd be saying is that personal advice on the camera, you mean? <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, but in all seriousness, I think what you know people should be doing is if you're an income person, you're comfortable that the companies you own are going to pay sustainable um, dividends, you just write it out. If you're more tactically focused, you're more of a trader, then you need to be having a chat to someone. Not advisor. so much of a trader either, Andrew. Hey, it's more um, capital, you but, know, yeah, but even if conservation, you're, I suppose, well, but then if you, protection. If, yeah. And that's where it comes down to each individual so circumstance. The individual. Yep. But so the, the, high, the takeaway is there's uncertainty out there at the moment. Um, market is certainly at least flat, if not trending down a little bit. You should be looking at your stuff and having that conversation. Yes. Yep. Um, anything else we need to be covering off on today? I don't think so. I think that just about sums up the whole couple of last weeks, doesn't it? Mm, it's been a very ordinary start to mm. the year. And I think coming into profit reporting season over the next three weeks, um, you know, we saw Godfrey's come out with a profit warning today. We had iSelect come out with one on Monday. It's going to be a really interesting profit reporting so season. Fashion season starting. One thing, New Year's resolutions. What's your, have you got a financial New Year's resolution? I have one. No, I don't. You don't? Um, maybe get a, a shave. Uh, mine, Someone's jealous. <laughs> it sort of takes me six months to sort of you know, get a hair. Uh, ours, well, certainly mine is um, be much better on stop losses. Yes. And that Michael Glennon, that seminar, and if you go through the feed, you'll see that uh, we've put that up there. Um, his big takeaway was 20%, that if something has fallen by 20% and you don't know why, just Stop sell it. Out. Yep. And I mean, 18 years of doing this, I think 
you've been doing this longer than me, I know that I am terrible at it because you just... Oh, it's it's a, a, yeah, that's the investor part, isn't it? It's the, a good company and yes. it'll come back and all that type of stuff. And, you know, Michael, he's had some great success and he's basically saying if it's not working, you can always buy it back. Yes. You know, so to me, um, if something's not working, sell it. Yeah. The other saying that goes with that is your first loss is often your best loss. Oh, and in this type of, um, dare I say, treacherous type of market, I think that New Year's resolution is going to be really important. Yep. Very Until good. next week. Thank you. Cheers.